Hello, and welcome back to Inside Gaming. Today we're going to be taking a look at and letting you guys know some things you might not have known about the Elder Scrolls Online. First, levels and experience. The level system does not seem to have a mathematical expression. If we actually take the levels and the XP required, 1 to 7 for example, and we list all the XP required, if we take the first, second, and third differences, there is no pattern. We jump around a lot, meaning that these numbers seem to be completely random. There doesn't seem to be a pattern or a mathematical expression for these numbers. Meaning that if you reach level 20 and you found it easier to get to rank 21 than you did, uh, say, at rank 11 to get to rank 12, you may be correct because the differences vary. Quests and XP. These actually do have a system, the questing system, and it actually also has an experience multiplier. So if you have ever done questing in Elder Scrolls Online, you will realize that the quest on the top right of your screen has a color-coded level. Very Easy is in a dark gray color and rewards 0.1 times the experience that it normally would. An Easy Quest is highlighted by green and it will give you 0.75 times the XP. Normal is yellow and gives you a 1 XP multiplier. Hard is signified by orange and will give you 1.5 XP multiplier. Very Hard is in red and it will give you 2.25 times the experience. Now, a very easy quest is considered 6 levels below the player. An easy quest is considered between 5 to 3 levels lower than the player. The normal quests are considered either below by two levels below the character or three levels above the character. Now between four and seven levels above your character's level is considered a hard quest. And eight levels or above your player level is considered very hard and will yield you the most experience. Now there is some notes and limitations on experience. All dungeon quests are set to very hard, resulting in a 2.25 times XP multiplier. Only 10% of the required XP to level up can be obtained at once, meaning if you go into a dungeon, you cannot obtain more than 10% of your next rank in that dungeon, even if you have the 2.25 multiplier and you gain that experience, you will only be able to keep 10% of it. Quest level does not always necessarily affect the XP earned, but rather the reward meaning that the quest level can yield a higher level reward at the end, such as more gold, or even a better staff or sword, but it does not necessarily affect the experience. Inspiration from crafting does not increase your player experience, however crafting writs award both ins inspiration for that skill and player experience, meaning that if I go to woodworking and build a staff, you will not increase your player experience from building that staff, but completing a crafting writ and handing it in will give you XP as well as inspiration towards that skill set, which is woodwork. The total experience to reach veteran rank 1 from rank 1 is 2,296,964. The sequential veteran ranks, 2 to 14, require 1 million experience to get to the next rank. So technically, ranking up when you are in the veteran ranks is easier than ranking up to the first veteran rank in the first place from rank 0. Now, the Elder Scrolls engine was all from scratch, however, at first Bethesda used Hero Engine uh, because they didn't have a game engine of their own and the game artists needed something to use until a new engine was programmed because game engines, especially MMO engines, are very difficult to program. The Creation Engine is Bethesda's newest engine and it is behind both Elder Scrolls V, Skyrim, and Elder Scrolls Online Tamriel Unlimited. Everything was prototyped and Hero Engine and then was ported over to the Creation Engine. The graphical engine is coded in C++, however the quests and player interface is scripted in Lua due to the higher level abstraction, meaning that it's just easier to code and work with. Sometimes when players log into the Elder Scrolls, they can see UI error messages referring to a Lua script confirming the above. Here's an example of that. This is actually from my game, and it says UI error saved variables Zenimax online in game.lua, line 156 unexpected symbol near squiggly bracket. Now, many call Elder Scrolls Online a reskin of World of Warcraft. Um, however, there are some differences. Elder Scrolls Online is supported on consoles, where World of Warcraft is not. Uh, it's also free to play, where World of Warcraft is subscription-based. 
One character can partake in different roles in Elder Scrolls as a healer can do DPS and even tank if it is required and has the proper armor. This is not as dynamic in World of Warcraft. Elder Scrolls supports fast travel, where to my knowledge, World of Warcraft does not. In Elder Scrolls Online, builds are more flexible and allow you to help different roles. Quests can be found easily in Elder Scrolls by visiting sections of the map which do have not been marked, meaning that they are black in symbol, not white. Elder Scrolls Online uses the creation engine, while World of Warcraft uses a modified War Warcraft 3 engine. On the PC version, however, in Elder Scrolls, players can actually code and share their own add-ons or plugins. And this is not only Elder Scrolls Online, you can also do this for Skyrim. Add-ons are coded in Lua, a high-level functional scripting language. Plugins are initialized using a function conventionally named plugin name colon initialize. It utilizes event handlers to work, so it utilizes these handlers or blocks to actually trigger the code to run. And there are many of these block types in the code, such as game mode, menu mode, on death, and on activate. The syntax typically uses a reference followed by the references function and parameters. An example of this would be trying to add items to the player's inventory. We'd use player, which is the reference, dot add item, the sub function, websteel longsword, which is the actual parameters, and two. Both of these are parameters, the first parameter is the name of the weapon, and the second parameter is the quantity. This would add two longswords to the reference, being the player. Now, here are some of the common block types used in Elder Scrolls. Game mode, which uses the quest and object reference, runs continuously, meaning that as long as the game is running, this code will be executed. Menu mode, quest and object reference as well, and this runs while the menu is open, kind of similar to game mode. Now, on activate is an object reference, and it runs if an object is activated. On death is an object reference, and it runs if an object dies or is destroyed. On equip, this is also an object reference and runs if an object is equipped. On dequip, well, this is object also an object reference and conversely to equip, it runs if an object is unequipped. Script effects start, begin, finish. These are magicka references uh, and they run if before, during, or after a spell uh, or magic, magicka is cast. Now here are some of the base functions, the most common ones at least. First we have Activate. Now most of these are player references, so Activate is also a player reference, and it triggers an activation. We also have the Add Item, which we've seen earlier, with the parameters Item Quantity, and this adds Q of Item I to the reference player. Get Crime Gold. Now, this also returns a player bounty. So, if a player does something like steal in a major town or city, they will acquire a bounty, and using Get Crime Gold, you can get the bounty amount that is set on them. Get Dead simply returns a boolean true or false based on if the player is alive or dead. Is in combat, similarly to Get Dead, it return, returns a true or false boolean of whether or not the player is engaged in combat. Message sends a message prompt to the player, similarly to that UI error we've seen earlier. Unlock, however, is an object reference, and this unlocks an object such as a door. Now, I am going to list some references because I'm a nice person. So, level of experience, I got that from UASP.net. I actually find, found out the first and second differences uh, from those numbers. Um, if they are wrong, you can comment down below, but I couldn't find any patterns in the leveling. Early development and game engine, I got this from Game Informer and why the Elder Scrolls Online isn't using Hero Engine, uh, which is what they use for prototyping. And scripting blocks and functions was taken from testnexus.com. Now you will notice that it says Introduction to Oblivion scripting. Oblivion is not Elder Scrolls Online, but it is very similar, which is why I used it. And I do not believe it has changed uh, much, if at all, since then. Yeah, so that is the end of Inside Gaming on Elder Scrolls. Maybe you learned a few things you didn't learn know about Elder Scrolls before, and that is how Elder Scrolls works at a foundational level.